similar to the way fatty acids are the building blocks of fats, amino acids are the building blocks of proteins. So let's start by building an amino acid atom by atom. This carbon atom wants to make four bonds. So let's give it a double bond with oxygen. And let's give a single bond to an OH molecule. That's a total of three bonds for the carbon. It still wants another. So let's give it another carbon for its fourth bond. And let's give this new carbon atom a bond to a nitrogen atom that is also attached to two hydrogen atoms. This is called an amino group and is where amino acids get their name. In amino acids, the carbon in the middle is always attached to a hydrogen and something else. In glycine, the other side chain is just another hydrogen. But in other amino acids, the side chain is more complex. Here is a molecule of alanine. And as you can see, the side chain is carbon, with three hydrogens attached. Other amino acids are even more complicated. Amino acid molecules attach easily end to end and can form long chains. And each time a new molecule joins the growing chain, a molecule of water is released when the OH molecule on the end joins with a hydrogen from the amino group.